So my name's Sarah, I work for a company called Route One Print and I'm the Head of Sales and Integration. Um, Route One Print are a trade only printer, we work exclusively with businesses that sell print, um, from commercial printers to copy shops, design agencies and print managers. We've got a range of digital, litho, inkjet, um, nanography now with the lander um, and a variety of finishing equipment as well. We're based in Rotherham, which is in South Yorkshire, um, just off the M1. So we're quite centrally based in the country um, and we've got the benefit of the really quick access to the M1, um, which gives us a sort of really, really impressive pickup time with DPD. Um, our latest DPD collection is actually 11 o'clock at night which is how we can um, satisfy so many of the late requested same day orders that we do. Yeah, so it really depends on what, what time of the year we're in, whether we're in a global pandemic or not. Um, <laughs> but at our peak, we can get, you know, four, five, six thousand orders coming through a day, coming through the factory and going out. So um, a really <laughs> impressive amount of orders coming through. Oh, absolutely. I think the clients that are using and utilising the VPress site um, find it incredibly crucial to them not only um, obtaining and winning contracts, but maintaining them as well. Um, because it's a very, very easy solution for somebody to use. You know, if you can say to your client, um, here's your artwork template, you can change that, you can order as few or as many as you like, that's completely controlled by your end client. Um, they don't have to get in contact with people because you know more and more we are seeing that people don't like to pick up the phone they like to self-serve they like to use web chat and things like that um, they can also track their own orders on vpress so again it's just keeping that end client very very happy because they're in or they feel like they are in control of a lot of what's going on they can see what they've placed where it's at what their artwork looks like they can make little amends to their artwork if they need to whereas traditionally they'd be calling on that print manager to make an amendment to the artwork, you know, the terms and conditions have changed or we don't offer that item on the menu anymore, can you remove it? It, it just completely removes that layer of faff, I suppose, um, and, and admin. It's great, to be honest, it, there's, just, there's just no complaints. They, they can't do enough to help you and support you. Um, and if we've ever got a query or anything like that, there's the, the ticket in, there's the help desk system, but it's not unusual for me to just pick up the phone and, and call one of the guys and talk through a particular issue that our client might need solving, um, a workaround, or you know, if there's some new development that can be put in place, um, quite often that will come back you know, within the day or two, what they'll suggest that we can build this little bit of um, a workaround that make these things that your client's asking for um, possible. Again, the price has come back. Um, they're quite happy to jump on a call with our client if, if we need them to, to give that extra level of understanding. Um, and I think some of the some of the challenges that we've given to VPress are the fact that all our MIS is is own built, so we aren't we aren't using a a traditional off-the-shelf MIS um, and yes they might have had the odd little grumble about that in their office but from our point of view they just they've taken what we've got and they've integrated in with it which I can imagine um, when they're used to dealing with people that ha are using you know the, the bigger MIS softwares that are out there it is a little bit frustrating that we've decided to do something ourselves um, and then put that on VPress to try and work out how to integrate with it and it's the fact that they do all the all their development gets done in house, so I can I can trust the fact that when they're looking at integrating in with our software, we know it's going to be done and we know it's going to be done correctly because they are doing it. Um, we're not waiting for a third party to get involved or anything like that. Yeah, so the, the VPress sites in general have, have helped us develop with some existing clients. They've helped us get in with some clients who. Um, we're already dealing with VPress um, and as we've started talking about VPress more, they've approached and said, oh, we've got a VPress site, so that's great for us because we can say, well, we're already integrated, um, get our heads together, speak to our account managers at VPress and very quickly their orders can be coming directly onto our site, which again saves them a massive process from their point of view. Um, but there's also more integrations that are in the way that are coming up with VPress in terms of extra capabilities, They've got some really, really clever things that they can do with the artwork um, and how you manipulate the artwork and how 
we can offer more things to our clients for them to put on the websites that they've got already um, to gain gain more traction and, and sell more and make it easier because that, that's what everybody's trying to do at the moment you know the path of least resistance is going to win and um, make things as easy as possible for the client there's also more integration that we can do not just with the um, the products and the product and the offering that the artwork selling but we want to be able to give our clients a very easy way to get online um, that maybe doesn't just cover this storefront that we, that we tend to focus on at the moment. So an easier way for our clients who have recognised that in the current times they need to be getting online, but they might not have the, the um, investment, they might not have the know-how, they might not have the dev team to be able to do it. Um, we're, gonna be, we're working on something in the meantime that will enable them to very easily get online um, in, a, in a more cost-effective way than you know traditionally going and having a website built for them bespokely. Because uh, a lot of our clients aren't, aren't aren't in the market to do that. They aren't big enough to warrant spending um, X amount of thousands of pounds to, to have a website built bespokely. They they rely on us to help them and, and continue continuing to develop them and the and the way that they buy and the way they sell to their clients. And online is definitely the way to do it.